Hey YouTube, Wednesday afternoon, I think it's around 2 o'clock, 2.30, just got off live streaming with the, uh, you can't see me, pretty cool guy, everybody else that was up there, I'm outside doing a little light duty stuff, somebody's got a fire going, smells good, sun's shining, 53 Fahrenheit out here, so that's about 11 C. I wanted to show you a little different trinket on one of these dishwashers. Okay, this one here has got stainless steel braided hose, the water line. It's got the brass trinkets, plus the little electric motor right there. Uh, of course, your basic electric motor. See, this is an older model, so chances of this one being copper are better. Now, they almost look the same, don't they? Pretty damn close. Same type of motor. Little extra brass trinkets there. Got double duty, plus electric motor. And then if you see on this one, got a nice little copper spool right there. Can you see that? I'm going to turn you sideways a bit so you can get a better look at that. You can see it. So always look for those. They pop right off of there. Just a little steel clip that holds them in place. And of course all your wiring. A little bit of cast aluminum right there. Generally the nut is not and that is. Just gotta make sure you take the screw out of it, make it clean cast. And then your typical wires. These pop out. We'll push these sideways. There's four of them. They don't all go in the same direction. Look at that motor's already dropping on me. Boom. See that? Motor fell right out. You just gotta open it, get it from the other side. This one here has got the ring. Now you're gonna want this disconnected. This one off, I already disconnected the two little items off of there, not thinking about it. There's the hose. We'll take him apart. See this white handle here? That runs that big ring all the way around it. And that's what locks it in. So if you look real close, it's, it, it's tilted, wedged in there, so it was going this way, so that ring went that way, so I need to bring it this way. See the little clips? You lift it up, turn, see that, motor already fell in, that's simple, just a little FYI, simple little tricks, you just got to remember to look at what direction everything's going, you want to go the opposite, right, so both of these are going to take a little nut driver, it's probably quarter inch, that way you get the, the brass out of the bottom too. But I generally take these off first, pop them off, leave that attached. That way it's holding it for you. These guys are a little different story. All the trinkets are in there. For what we can see, sun's shining out here. It's a gorgeous day. And they're calling for snow on Friday. It kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I want it to warm up. I don't see... That's the drain hose, that's not the inlet hose. I'm looking for the inlet hose. Where the water comes in, I don't see it. Now this is the little dial, you turn it that way and this will pop up. Without any headache. Yeah, everything's wet. I don't see. The inlet hose anywhere. Well, that's strange. Huh. That's the base. That one I do believe is stainless steel. Let me go find the magnet. So get open. Yeah, my wife's going to be excited. We got all that counted for. 
Then I open this up. I forgot we stuffed it full. <laughs> so it's got some more counting to do. Alcohol containers is instant money. One magnet. You know I got a magnet hoard going on. We're gonna see if this guy's stainless steel. Bear with me. Yes, he is. Look at that. It does not stick. Cool. So now I have to strip him completely down. All that stainless, but yet he's got a steel door on the front. Why wouldn't you make the door stainless too? You make me spend more money because that's stainless, right? I don't get these manufacturers. I know they're trying to save a buck, but holy moly. Well, there's another one. That one's too shiny. He doesn't look stainless. See the two different tones and color? Not shiny, shiny. See, it sticks. Well, that one's all going to stick. Normally they'll do them half and half. I've taken one apart before. But this one's good. I don't have to worry about them. He's got a few nice trinkets. Stainless steel braided hose. Brass connector. He's got two electric motors on him. That one will probably be aluminum. Do I have another dishwasher hiding in here somewhere? I forgot I had that one there. No, nope, that's a microwave in there. TV, I never tried to see if it works. I got a lot of work to do. And I'm all by myself. My back says, get the hell back in the house. And I said, no, I got stuff to do. So we're going to play over here. We're going to at least strip this dishwasher down. The motor fell in. I'll take these apart. Bear with me. We brought some helpers with me. Yeah, this table might end up being a workbench. <laughs> Anything in a pinch, right? Move the dishwasher closer. I'm going to put you here. Well, of course you are. I got my little dinky tripod out to the... Can you see that all right? Yeah, you're kind of looking at the wood pile, aren't you? <sighs> Something like that. Hope you see it all right. Don't send my tools for a poop. Pretty much these guys, I think, that are blowing my back because I try to throw them up way up high in the truck. I'm gonna quit doing that. We'll see the dock tomorrow. Give you the news: I got a bad case of backache blues. We're gonna get copyright infringement on that. <laughs> Him down for a sec. Yeah, I got way too much clothing on. I thought it was chillier than this, but I don't need all this on. Oh, look, I'm stripping on camera. Woo and yes, I am in shorts. It's that time of the year to be in shorts, so. I put my shorts away in November, something like that, or Christmas time. I'm a shorts kind of guy, so I know all my skinny white legs probably get blinded from the light, right? <laughs> Oh, 
So we can take this guy off. That'll be all cast aluminum except for the screw with this little steel piece. They come apart easy, just keep screwing, unscrewing it. There we go. Oh, star puppy. Someone else enjoying the sun like I am. Cast aluminum. It fell. Oh, the little wing nut fell off. They're usually they're usually not cast. They're generally steel. So don't get cocky and just throw it in with your cast aluminum. You know what I mean? A lot of times they're steel. I'm just set it over here behind you. steel in the front so very chem loose here's that little copper motor I was talking about I don't know if he's got any brass on him or not doesn't always know he's not brass but he is copper Oh, somebody's burning garbage. It stinks. Another night there, a couple nights ago, it was StreamYard was acting up. And then I blamed it on the computer I was on, but it turned out someone else was having the same issues as I was. And they paid for theirs, so they talked to StreamYard. And StreamYard admitted they were having some technical difficulties is how they put it. <laughs> you know. But anyways, I was having trouble uploading videos from my phone to the computer. My brand new computer, I thought it was acting up, but apparently it's my phone. That I use strictly just as a camera. It's not a phone phone, per se. It doesn't have any phone number, nothing on it. Holy, you're gonna surprise me. Look at that chunk of brass that came off of there. And I still got the other piece on there yet that it screwed into. And I need to get the motor out of it first. Ah, yeah, now you really. Come on. Oop. Almost knocking you over. I think I better take these two apart from each other. There we go. I'm just trying to open the motor up. In case you can't see what I'm look, working on. This guy right here is opening them up. I'll try to get that motor off. These guys work nice on gripping stuff. There. Now he slides right off. See the little trinkets are building up. So now I need my drill. Undo those four screws and get that piece of brass off. He'll come out the bottom. This is stuff you could do if you really, really wanted to on the side of the curb there, you know. 
If you don't want to take the whole dishwasher with you, give me a sec. I'll go grab my drill. I put a smudge in my camera. So now I got my nut driver. It's quarter inch. That's pretty much what all they are if they are a nut driver. I'll show you on this one too. Okay, quarter inch. So we'll take him out. Okay, come back here. He's going to go for a, a drop. We don't want to lose our brass, right? We worked so hard to get it. Got a little piece of rubber on there. I'm just taking the rubber off. There you go. It's the rest of the brass trinket. You can, if you want, go after the screen. Those are usually stainless steel. But they probably weigh, maybe, if you're lucky, a gram. So weight-wise, you'll never miss it. Okay, all I got to do is pull the motor out of the bottom yet. We'll put the drill back over here. I have to flip that over. I'll set you right here. It might be a little safer here. <laughs> might be. Now to make it easier on you, the doors like to slam shut, take the springs off. This one's already missing on this side. Now you're going to lay the thing down, so... Otherwise you're fighting. Oh, look at the, the trinkets that are hiding in here. I'm going to get you. Okay, what I was talking about was the hose. It's got some brass ends on it. So. Now this one here is giving us a little extra. Stainless steel whirly birdie, that's what I've always been talking about too. These come right off. Just unscrews. And there you go. Stainless steel. It just pops apart. I don't hurt myself doing it first. <laughs> they pop apart. Uh, it's got a little rivet on it, but that's fine. It'll pop right apart with a screwdriver. take I'll check see I don't know why they do that on these motors steel cast aluminum but we're gonna find out right now if it's worthwhile to take that well the motors gonna come off anyway so we're gonna give it the old scratch test it's an older model What do you think? It's scratching like it's copper. 
Haven't had one of these in a while. Yeah. Huh. Well, I never. <laughs> well, you have now. Yeah, okay. Let's try the other side. Everybody uses a file. Normally, I cut them with the side cutters. And that is copper. Bonus. That's even better yet. Like I said, it's an older machine, so and it's got stainless steel in it. Put knife back where you belong. See that? Had a few people go, oh, your knife's there. Yep, that's exactly where I want it. Yeah, so there's two more trinkets on there. In there, sorry, not on there. It's in it. Two more little trinkets. Right there. To hold the heating element on. I'm going to set you back over here because I have to hold. Can you see from that angle? I don't think you can see pretty good, hopefully. You just clamped on with the plastic. There's all. Press on. They're just pressed on. And they're stainless. There's two of them. I've never count leaned on a dishwasher this much before. <laughs> it's supporting me. Here's the other one. And we'll set that there. Stay. Boom. We're done. There's a spring on the ground. Mm. Yeah, I had one. Subscribers saying I'm moving pretty gingerly. <laughs> yeah, well, when your back hurts, your back hurts, right? Now you can just fill them up, get it on the truck, fill it up with crap. Scrap, crap. And that's that. Simple, simple. So look at the trinkets you get from these. I'll try not to make the video too long. Okay, what do we get? We got a nice copper motor, that's a bonus. A couple pieces of stainless steel. A little bit of electrical wire. You can get more if you rip the whole door apart. A couple nice pieces of brass, electric motor, two electric motors, and a little wiring. And you can see the wire is copper. At least that part anyway. So there we have it. Uh, dishwashers are what? Maybe 30 pounds at three cents a pound. So yeah. Three cents a pound. It's not much, is it? <laughs> When you say it like that, oh, my sunshine disappeared. Wind's still out of the southeast. This is blue box material. Yeah, so three cents a pound. What is that? 90 cents? 30 pounds. 10 pounds? 90? Yeah. Don't even get a buck for that. Wow, I didn't think it was that low. So I get a dollar for the whole dishwasher. 30 pounds, right? 10 pounds would be 30 cents. 3 cents a pound. I'm going to say they're 30 pounds. It's just a big plastic tub. So and then what we took off of them. Oh, can't forget this. This belonged to it. The brass trinkets are on there yet. They have to come off. 
There's our brass. Check with the magnet. Yep, see, no sticky sticky. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, this tripod legs are all goofy. Trinket holding that on. It's all plastic, so I didn't even know it was in the dishwasher. There. It's just brass, so it cuts easy, right? Nice little brass trinket. And this should come right off. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Look at it. It just keeps feeding us more. Come on. Yeah. Remember, it is brass, it's a softer steel. Should actually slide right off. Should. Yeah, we'll open her up. Yeah. See? Doesn't stick. Now that piece comes off. Boom. Plastic hose can go in the blue box. So let's say we get paid a buck for the dishwasher leaving it alone. And well the motor. Good five pounds anyways. All the brass trinkets right there. Got stainless steel, electric motors, and some cast aluminum and some copper wire. So I think 30 cents, 90 cents, let's say a dollar for the dishwasher. And if I bring all this in, I probably get at least five bucks for all this. So the dishwasher made money. And it took me what? Well, 20 minutes to rip that apart. Of course, I've been doing a little extra stuff, so showing you what's what and who's who. So, yeah, I'll do him next. So he's done. He can go in that pile. Oh, Canadian Treasure Hunter, if you watch my channel, we're talking about cast. This is the tubs you've been busting up. Big heavy bugger, about 350 pounds. I keep my clean cast in it. It's got the front like yours too. This one's a full. It's got the double, the double bevel on both ends. And this is where I hoard my good cast, clean cast, not auto cast, just clean cast. So There's something under here. Oh, look at that! More shred. So, just in case you're wondering what I was talking about. This one, I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. He is complete. I was thinking of making a chair to match the one I have in the front, on the front deck. But then I can't use the backrest. I have to do all wood. So, we'll see. Anyways, that's a project for in the spring. This is me playing. It's got to be 3 o'clock now. Yep, 2.58. So... I got you, I've been holding you guys hostage for 28 minutes, so I'll let you go, and yes, doctor's appointment tomorrow, back is twitching, muscle farther up is pulling more because I have to walk like I've been hunched over. So, we'll give you an update after tomorrow, see what goes on. Boss called too, wondering what was going on, so. Like, subscribe, and share or not. Did I do him already? Have a nice day. <laughs> See? Old age.